starting off here, I did officially participate in my first dead front, which uh, was Ice Castle, and it went pretty well. Uh, I thought I was going to have a harder time staying alive because I don't have a lot of monster damage tolerance, but honestly, it wasn't that challenging. Uh, the party I with wasn't like super talkative or... Um, you know into what we were doing normally when you're at dead front especially in the low levels people want to like pvp and stuff But I didn't find anyone that really wanted to pvp uh, But I did unlock my hell's gate ability Which is a very strong ability and actually it's probably my hardest hitting ability that I will ever have in the uh, You know 149 dk square, so I'm very excited for that uh, But yeah, the uh, the dungeon was not too bad. I did get a few levels out of that uh, I did get that valentine's day boost that gives you 500% uh, increased experience, so that's really nice. That definitely added on to that. Uh, at the end here, however, I did uh, attempt to finish the last boss, but a bunch of my party members died, and then eventually it was just me, and I was just short of killing the boss, so I did not manage to get the reward from this dungeon, which was too bad, because that would have been cool. Uh, but I did finish the dead front and get some nice levels. So I did manage to find myself a couple of uh, upgrades for my armor. So I did get some plus 7, 105 pants, which is good, and I got uh, 111 plus 8 gloves. So all of that will definitely help me out a little bit here. I'm not investing too much in this lower level armor because I really want to focus on my 1-3x set, but uh, as I can find these pieces for sale and if I get any drops on my other wizard, I, I will definitely be putting them in here because they are better than what I currently have. I had a bit more luck with my second dead front in terms of uh, completion and getting to kind of hang out and talk with people. You know, one of my favorite things about dead front is it's just a really cool place to hang out and like talk to other players and make friends. Uh, like that time when you're waiting for the dungeon to start and you're making a party, you know, you, you, you can talk to people, you can get to know people. Um, I got to talk to a couple different people for like almost like half an hour. And we were just talking about, you know, some of my videos and about the state of the game, you know, what people like about the game, what they don't like about the game. And I personally, I just enjoy that a lot. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, in terms of the actual dead front itself, I got, you know, some more levels. I had that 500% active. So that was great. Uh, the dungeon, you know, we did not struggle with much at all. We had a really strong party, and we were able to complete it with, I think, almost almost five minutes to spare. So there were no issues with that at all. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get lucky with getting any of the drops at the end. I know that uh, Dead Front does actually have some okay-ish drops now, so I was kind of hoping to maybe get my hands on uh, some of that. But I will just have to keep doing more Dead Fronts so that I can keep trying to get those drops at the end. I, I think there's some, like, time stuff that would you know, boost my damage a decent amount. So I was uh, kind of looking for that, but uh, no luck yet. Anyway, this dead front went really well, and I'm definitely going to be continuing to do these in the future. So really quick here, I just want to do an update to my skills, and I figured you guys would probably want to see that. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to buff up my passive here. I'm going to buff up my mana boost. Uh, this is my attack boost. That's maxed now, which is nice. Um, is this maxed? Yeah, that's maxed. That's maxed. Uh, good, good, good. So I think that's everything here for now. Uh, gonna get backstep shot maxed. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah. Uh, dark crystal. Very important. Uh, I'm gonna level up you and my Hellgate. So more damage. And then in here, I don't think right now there's anything that I want to level up. Um, that's that should be maxed. Yep, that should be maxed. Uh, max that out and then I know at some point I will probably level up dark resist and maybe mana recovery and maybe arms depending on how much you know how many points I have but for now this is all the important stuff uh yeah these I'm debating whether or not I want to level these up they're good abilities but I don't know whether I need to level them or not we'll see how many skill points I end up having by the time I get to level 149 after Deadfront, I did run into someone that wanted to PvP with me, so I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. Now, I do feel like I had a pretty good advantage here because I had the uh, Flag of War, a plus nine weapon, and the Papaya Belt, uh, but it was a pretty close fight, I'm not going to lie, and I felt like a complete mess during the fight. Uh, I was fighting a concert Summoner, and there, you know, the, there's these abilities that make me lose my target and uh, make it so I can't use abilities, and... I was, I'm not going to lie, guys, I was a complete mess during this fight. And also, I'm used to my skills being in certain areas on my, you know, my main Black Wizard, and I have these ones in different areas, so I was, like, searching for skills, making mistakes. Uh, if you watch here, I'm just, I'm making so many mistakes. Uh, but at the end here, I did manage to win. I do think this guy was a higher level than me, though, probably 130 plus, because he was at dead front, but he wasn't at the dead front we were in. Uh, so that did make me feel kind of good that I, I think I did manage to beat a higher level. But uh, I definitely need to be doing more PvPs to get my 
uh, skills up to par before I get into the uh, DK square. Otherwise, I am just going to get walked all over. I do also want to throw in here that uh, I had someone come up to me and uh, they gave me uh, 300 AK HP potions, which are going to be super useful for PvP. And they did also lend me their uh, spell plumes. So, and as you guys know, spell plumes are really hard to get now. So this is really nice. Uh, so thank you very much to this person. I really appreciate it. Uh, uh, that person is, I, there's no way I can pronounce this name. I'm, I'm just going to call him TW. So uh, TW, thank you for the help. I really appreciate it. So I know I had it. I had at least one person ask to see some upgrading because right, I'm going to be making gear. And this is only going to be a very small portion of that because I have a lot of gear that I need to make. But I do have uh, a full set of plus eight DK gear that I uh, made myself because I have a lot of DK points on my wizard. And I'm going to see if I can get any of those to go to plus nine. Now, uh, I have... Oh, am I short a uh, blacksmith talisman? Uh-oh. All right, guys. Hold on one second. Okay, there we go. Uh, what? Four blacksmith talismans? No, there were five of their five of them there this whole time. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, I'm going to try to upgrade all these. Uh, so I'm just going to go down the line and I'm just going to go for it, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to try to do anything fancy like hopping servers or plussing or, you know, what, you know, trying to plus up other items and failing. I'm just going to straight go for it. Um, I do have holy water active, so that'll be nice. So that means I will be getting a 23% increase on all of these. So statistically speaking, I should get at least one of these to plus nine. Uh, but because, you know, I am an optimist, I think all of them are going to go to plus nine. So right now, guys, I want you to think to yourself, uh, or guess, how many of these you think are going to go plus nine? I'm going with five, and if I'm not correct, I'm going to be very sad. So here we go. Let's go. What should we start with? Let's start with the gloves. So, uh... Oh, I need DKR gates. Oh, guys, I'm so bad at this game. Okay, take three. I had five blacksmith. I had five blacksmith talismans this entire time, and I had DKR gates the entire time. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Okay, let's go ahead and do this before I realize that I'm forgetting something else. So gloves, go. And oh wow, right, right off the bat, plus nine gloves. Cool. All right, armor, go. And success. Oh yeah, I'm telling you guys. Five for five. This is it. This is the moment. We're getting five for five. It's just going to keep going. Okay, four out of five. Four out of five. I'm feeling it right now. Four out of five. It's just going to keep going on from here. Okay, three out of five. We'll take three out of five. Please, Decron Gods, I'll be so happy if you give me three out of... Okay, we got two out of five. Okay, two out of five statistically is kind of what I was uh, expecting. It was going to be like one to two. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with that. Uh... So I have the gloves. The armor I'm not even sure if I'm going to use, to be honest with you guys, because I might make a normal set and put some uh, HP gems in it. But uh, the armor is very nice, and the gloves are very nice. I will have to brand and rank all of these as well. So as you can see, this is going to be a very long process of me making all this stuff. And I'm not completely focusing on it right now, but I was really, uh, you know, I saw that someone wanted to see some upgrading. So uh, uh, here you go. There's some upgrading, and there will definitely be more upgrading in the future. I do want to do a little like progress update on my character overall. So uh, first off, I did decide to put 100 points into heal, and I'm going to put the rest into spirit. Uh, I don't know how much HP I'm going to need, because I don't know what my HP is going to be at at the very end. Uh, so I'm kind of hesitant right now. I think I might end up needing to do like a reset or something like that, but I do have that one for a reset, so I'm not too concerned about that. Right now, I'm just doing what's you know convenient for me for leveling, so that is what I'm doing for now. Um, I did... Uh, let's see, I think my skill points that I want updated are all up to date because I did that recently. Uh, but basically, I mean, if you guys want to see what I'm going to be maxing out, I mean, basically I'm going to be maxing uh, all my passives. I'm going to be maxing uh, mana recovery, my bubbles, uh, my attack. So that's all going to be maxed. Uh, and the destruction skill point, I've already got most of the ones maxed I want. I mean, backstep shot and dark crystal are my two big PvP abilities. Uh, Dark Explosion, I don't know if it's going to be good for PvP yet or not, but I'm still kind of figuring it out. Um, obviously, Dark Tornado and Hell's Gate are big hitters for PvP, and I'm still thinking about these two. Um, I am curious about this Great D-Sword ability because it has really good tracking, so I'm considering using this in PvP as well, but we'll see how many points you know I end up with in the end. Uh, in here, uh, I, I want this maxed, I want that maxed, that maxed, I will max my Devil's Promise, and then I, I'm trying to decide if I want to max these three or not. Uh, the Dark Resist will get the highest priority, and then we'll go to Mana Weakness, and then we will go to uh, Weakness Arms. So that's kind of my plan there. Uh, when I do get my Trans, 
Uh, Darkness Thorn is not a great ability, but it might be decent in PvP at a low level. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to test it. Um, uh, De Smile of Death is a really good ability, and Devil's Armor is a really good ability. So I will definitely be uh, getting these two as high of a level as I can. So that's where I'm at skill-wise. Now, gear-wise, I have wings that I'm very happy with. Uh, right now, I just have kind of crap, crap gear that I'm using to get around. I'm going to need, you know, DK gloves, which actually you guys just saw me make. I'm going to need pants, and I'm going to need boots for sure. I might need armor, which I have here, and I might need a helmet. Uh, but I am planning on making normal armor and normal helmet so I can put the HP gems in, because that'll be an additional 20k HP, which will be really useful in DK Square. I am trying to decide if I want to have a switch, though. Um, if I have a switch, the only danger with that is my HP will be jumping up and down by 20,000, which is a little dangerous to do while you're in a PvP, so I'm thinking that might be a bad idea. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Uh, as far as accessories go, uh, I I definitely... Uh, I'm really not entirely sure what I'm going to be going for here. Uh, I might go... F I know that I am going to be upgrading my materials blurry tier, especially since there's that event going on right now uh, that will make it you know faster to upgrade. So I'll definitely be doing that. And then I think I'm going to go for a wedding ring or two. And beyond that, I'm not really sure yet, but we'll figure out as we go. Um, I'm super happy with my papaya belt. No issues there. And I did manage to buy myself one papaya bracelet plus seven. Um, this is really good for PvP. And I'm planning on using that for sure. I can actually equip it now. I should have had that on. Uh, and I do want to get another one of those. I managed to get this one for about 30 bill. I'm not sure if that was a good price or not, but that's the price that I paid for it. So I do have that. I need to get one more of those. Now, my biggest thing that I'm thinking about, guys, is my costume. I try to decide, do I just buy the Sung Wukong costume, or should I try to make some more money and make a nice crest costume? That's what I'm really deciding on. And then if I do a crest costume, would it be better to just full out go PvP damage, or PvP damage resist or get some BDR in there? I'm not really sure. I have to keep thinking about it. Uh, anyway, things are going great with the Black Wizard, and I'm going to keep leveling this dude up.